Uh, in today's video, I'll be teaching you or showing you an illustration on how to connect three sources of light using two changeover because I know this is giving a lot of technician or solar installer a lot of headache. Don't forget, my name is Meriga Emmanuel, your favorite solar energy guide. So today I'll be showing you how to wire three sources of light using two changeover, two manual changeover, which are popularly known as knife switch. I have the diagram already on the board. I'll just explain how this is being done. Now, a lot of people are actually confused when it comes to connecting the uh, manual or knife changeover. Here we have changeover one and we have changeover two. They are both knife switch or manual changeover. Now we have three sources of light. We have generator, we have NEPA, which is grid, and we have our inverter. And we want to use two manual changeover. How is this done? A lot of people, the way they connect theirs, they usually used to be collision of power. For example, I've seen places that some people wire these two manual changeover, and they take from the output of this guy to the output of this guy. Then they ask, they'll ask the owner of the house that whenever he wants to use inverter, he should put this guy on neutral. That means bringing the switch to the middle is on neutral and it's not supposed to be that way because the person might forget and leave the inverter down here decide to now you know leave this other changeover on grid once he on his inverter uh because this output here is connected to the output of this guy the inverter will feed back to the nepal light or the grid but if you do it this way there will never be collision of light even when you forget your changeover down or you forget this guy up or even forget this one up or forget this one down and on any of these three sources of light every manual changeover or knife switch have two inputs and one output so we have input one or let's say we have input two and we have input one here then we have one output we have another changeover here so this changeover is the same as this let's assume this are 100 amps changeover now you connect from your nepal light to the in that's to the input of this guy let's say input one so your nepal will come to the input one of this very changeover then from your generator it will come to the input two then from the output instead of taking it to the output of changeover two you now take the output of these two sources of electricity to the in that's the in one of changeover two. So your inverter will be connected to the input two of changeover two. So when you do your connection this way, there will never be collision of light. Even when you leave this changeover down, that means you leave the handle on gen or you leave it on nepal light and put on your inverter and bring this guy down, there will never be collision of light. So from the output of changeover two to the house, this bulb represents our house. So nepal will first come in to the in one of changeover one then generator will come to the in two of changeover one then from the output of changeover one to the input of changeover two that is that means input one of changeover two this is how you do your connection using two manual changeover it's self-explanatory so here is your gen your nepa then from the output of your changeover controlling your gen and your nepa to the input of changeover 2 which have inverter connected to it so you can just slide between any of these sources of power and you directly have power in your house if you find this video useful don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put on your notification button